Hey YouTube, Make Mine Marvel here with another uh, statue unboxing and review. Uh, this is the Sideshow Cable Premium Format, the exclusive. This is number 444 out of 1,000. Alright, so right on top when you open up the bag, or when you open up the box, inside a bag is uh, Cable's Cake. So just put that off to the side. And we'll continue getting the styrofoam out. All right, so this is a bigger box. Um, I just unboxed uh, the new Sideshow Punisher premium format. Um, and that product weight was about 17 pounds. And Punisher himself is pretty heavy, but the base is fairly light. Um, cable is 36 pounds shipped, and man, it feels a big difference. It feels really heavy. So really excited to get this piece open. Um, and, and see what we get going on here. All right, so we get the base. Uh, we got one of his guns, another giant gun, uh, something else over here, whatever that is. Probably a shoulder pad, uh, his body, some more stuff, some more stuff. There's a head someplace there. All right, let's get the base out. All right, and there's the bottom of the base, number 444 of 1,000 for cable. I'm waiting forever for Sideshow to make a cable statue. Um, I did not like the XM cable. I never purchased that one. Um, just never really liked the face or much about it. But uh, when I saw this come out, fell in love with the pictures. Had to order it. Base is done pretty nice. Um, you know, it's got the Xavier sign, uh, melted in half, and then it's also got, uh, Wolverine's cowl there, all dirtied up, and Professor X's Cerebro helmet, with some bricks and whatnot. The painting on the Xavier sign is really, really nice. Cool looking gold, it's got some patinaing to it, looks real cool. I really don't know where to get started on this guy. Uh, he's so huge and comes with so many different pieces. But uh, so I just put the body in and <laughs> it's freaking cool. It is freaking really cool. The camera's picking up all the colors perfectly. Um, so what you're seeing on film is what you're getting. Everything's color really, really nice. Great sculpt, great paint. It just screams cable to me. All right, let's keep on keeping on here. So these portal pieces are packed really nice. They're packed in like this foam slot. There's a couple of them, another one over here. Real tight to get out. Uh, and then they're in a plastic bag. And then they're in like this plastic of tissue paper. Um, so it's going to take me a little bit here to get all the stuff off, but you know, they, they seem to be packed really nicely. Yeah, so this thing's ridiculously big. Like, <laughs> uh, what the fuck? This thing is awesome. Uh, they could have added a few more different colors grays in the gun. It's just kind of all one color with giving some, I don't know, sparkly sheen to it. But uh, <laughs> it's gigantic. You can't even see my hand behind the thing. All right, so we kind of get some some of the pieces on. The rest of them all laid out on the table here. You can see there's a couple of different options. Um, so right now, if I spin this around to the back, um, we're going to have uh, two of the portals. One connects to the back of his weapon. One connects to the back of his leg. Um, and then the regular edition, the collector's edition, will come with this brick. Or um, this brick is just a little key goes right into a hole right there or uh, this um, portal here that you can put in so you can have the option of having another portal back there uh, behind him um, you can have uh, you can put the brick in I'm not going to take this portal out of the wrapper because I'm not going to use it because I got the exclusive so I'm going to use the Deadpool hand um, so I'm just going to leave that wrapped up that way it stays nice and safe um, 
and uh, and the the dead the exclusive Deadpool hand will go with this brick is, and I'll put that on last. Um, but I still got to get the cape on, still got to get the head, the arm, the couple of shoulder pads that are down here, his uh, microphone slash headset slash whatever he's got going on there, uh, and kind of you know I guess you could display the statue without any of the portals because all the keys. Um, to put these portals in are on the back of the back of the statue So if you didn't want to put any of the portals on you wouldn't have to um, Because you never see those those keyholes uh, So there's that option as well um, You know and you can put a cape on off however you like it uh, I'm gonna put that cape on it's, it's pretty nice looking. It's got some wires in it just like almost all their fabrics do This is the only fabric piece in the whole Statue you can see it's weathered pretty good torn up um, you know, I'm sure there's some playing with it to get it to look pretty decent, but we'll give it a quick little shot here. So really nice job with the head sculpt. Uh, it's the perfect, uh, you know, cable I, I remember from the New Mutants in early X-Force days. Always liked this style about them. Friggin' nailed it. Great facial sculpt. Um, little criticism though, like if you look at the, the skin for the... The head and the skin for the arm, the head is slightly darker. Um, you know, so there's a little bit of criticism there. You can pop him in. There. And so that's how he looks pretty much as the collector's edition. I'm trying to get it all in here because it's a big statue. Um, so he's got his gun up in the air, his two shoulder pads on. This is without the cape on. Um, and then also it's without the, you know, just the brick in there. Um, but yeah, it's, he's freaking huge, man. Great looking statue too. Great, great looking statue. Really menacing. I'm going to display him right next to the Apocalypse Premium format too. I think that's going to look real sweet. But before I do that, let's get the exclusive, uh, piece on and I can show you that right here there's a little Deadpool doll Deadpool's hand coming through a portal uh, you can see it's the chain it's on a real metal chain a little plastic piece as best and obviously heartbroken in half um, it's pretty neat it's a cool little fun exclusive it's actually a lot of texturing on a little Deadpool doll And that's how the exclusive looks down there. You can see uh, the portal itself has uh, Deadpool's arm on it. And then you connect the wrist into the arm and the portal goes right into the brick piece. With the doll there. That's pretty neat. All right, let me put his cape on there and see how that looks. Okay, I, I know that was only a quick, uh, you know, pause and then back to uh, the video here, but that probably took me a, a good 15, 20 minutes to fiddle around with this thing. Um, so the cape itself has a neck hole that's cut out for the shape of his collar. So it's, it's made to fit on one way. There's no magnets or anything that like hold the cape in place. So what I kind of did is... I got the center line of the cape, which is pretty much right here. Made sure that that's kind of where I wanted that to be. Fitted the collar, you know, the, this around his neck best I could. And then I wanted to make sure that the shoulder pads weren't underneath the cape. Because um, I really like that detail and tension there. So I was able to tuck the cape underneath the shoulder pads. You know, had to take shoulder pads off, cape underneath, and slid the shoulder pads back on. Um, and, and that's the result that I got. So, I, you know, and then I... It's got a bunch of wires in it, so I kind of tucked the wires, you know, brought it underneath his arm to make sure I can see as much of the statue as possible. Um, and I, I really like that look. It stayed the same thing on the back there. In the back, you can see it's kind of just, just billowed and rolling there. I'm going to play with it a little bit more, see if I can get some of that out, but, you know. Probably actually 
But yeah, a lot of playing, a lot of fooling around with it. And you move one wire and then another one moves and, you know, it's a nut roll. All right, let me get this next to Apocalypse where he's going to be displayed. All right, and there's those two guys. Arch enemies. Standing tall next to each other. Cable and Apocalypse. Really, really dig it. Awesome. Really happy with how that looks. All right, as always, hey, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And I hope you enjoyed the uh, statue review. Um, this is actually my last Sideshow statue I have on pre-order. I have a, uh, a ton of rewards points, about 600 bucks worth that I need to spend. So I'll get another statue from them, I'm sure. But uh, I've kind of cut back on, on ordering stuff. I'm only really ordering stuff I absolutely love. Um, but uh, I don't know. I'm... I'm I'm on the wait list for the Juggernaut exclusive. If that converts, then uh, I'd like to pull the trigger on that. Um, if not, maybe I'll get a regular one or something. I don't know. But uh, we'll see what else they're going to... Maybe they'll release something nice during the, uh, the 12 days of Sideshow. But we'll see. Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.